this is Sonia Swan and we are doing a, this video in response to some great response that we got from our Sunday with Sonia scope but people were falling off and then getting back on and the internet connection apparently wasn't so great so we just thought we'd record this straight so that everybody will have a chance and opportunity to listen so again my name is Sonia Swan and I am a young living diamond and love teaching on network mar marketing principles and the one that we're going to teach about today is called Care Calls. The reason why we're going to talk about Care Calls is twofold. One, sometimes when someone gets into network marketing, they grow really fast and there's a ton of excitement and then they just kind of stall for a little while. And we want to teach how to get over that little hump. In the beginning, maybe you just have 10 people and you're in touch with them every single day. You know everything that's going on in their lives. You know if they're using their oils or not you know you're already communicating with them quite well. And as you grow, you might find that now your people are enrolling people who are enrolling people. And these may be people with whom you don't have a relationship yet. You don't know who they are. And you can only see the statistics in your back office or your downline viewer or your virtual office or whatever you have. So you may be able to see the statistics. And there may be some things that you'll be able to help those people with that you're people who enrolled them don't quite yet know how to help them with. So that's why it's really important for you to be watching your downline viewer and pulling up some of these reports that it allows you to pull up. We might call them one month because they're about to go inactive. We might call them because they had a 390 PV order and they were just $10 away from that monthly promo. Maybe they're not getting the monthly promos. Maybe they've been ordering for the last couple of months, but they're not on essential rewards or your company's auto ship program and they're losing out on something by not doing that. So care calls really came to our attention when Melissa Pepping put out a care call script and we got a hold of that and we were excited about it and we started sharing that with our team. Yes, we need to do care calls. So we're going to share that script with you, but we're also going to share a few other questions that it seems as I have done care calls myself, these are questions that I like to ask people so that I can begin to build a relationship with them. And it is always said, and I don't know who was the first person to say it, but the fortune is in the follow-up. So when you're building in relationship network marketing, we really want to follow up with people. And I know a lot of people get nervous. They're like, what if I call them? I don't want to bug them. I've called them three times and I've left messages or whatever, or I've called them but nobody picked up so I just hung up the phone. And it can be scary for some of our temperaments to just pick up that phone and start talking to people. And I get that. I so get that. And let me tell you that most people, the majority, 95% of the people that you call and do a care call for, they're going to be really glad you called. And so we're going to show you how to make that very comfortable and uh, just like you're talking to your friend around the corner today. So the first thing we want to say is, be sure as you're on the call to be more interested in them than be interesting, at trying to be interesting to them, right? So we just want to be interested in their life. We want to be curious about people and how they live and what they do and, you know, their family, etc., so that we can find common points of interest and build that relationship, right? So I'm going to read to you real quick. It's not very long. Melissa's care call script, and then we'll add in the, some additional questions that maybe you will or won't want to add into your care calls as well. So Melissa says, are you wondering why some folks on your team aren't ordering each month? Even uh, ever thought of incorporating care calls into your daily or weekly business building time? Look how easy this is. Now I want to stop here for a moment and show you something. We do a training called a BLAST training. And in that training we've put together a book. And in that book is a uh, many sheets of paper like this and these are exactly for care calls on one side it's your weekly activities that are going to be income producing business building relationship building activities and you can just pick how many of those is your goal for the week I want to do two care calls a day okay well we've got um, Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday so if you want to do two care calls a day then you get to fill in two little circles each day as you've done them and you can write down which care calls you did and your notes on the other side of this. This is wonderful. As you can see, I've got my care calls on here that I've been doing for this week. And you can 
see that. Now I want to tell you the other thing about this book is that if you flip to this little tab, which I've actually tabbed, your tab is not in your book, this is for your prospects. So this is so that you can tell, I haven't talked to Aunt Mary yet. Let me put Aunt Mary on my list. And have I invited her to a class? Have I given her some kind of a sample, etc.? So it takes you through a process where you can check off the process that you're in with your Aunt Mary because it takes more than one exposure for people to become interested. And then it also has a place for your notes. And in the very back, it's got a calendar. So there are calendars enough for, I think, 18 months in here. And the exciting thing about this is if your group does classes regularly, and we encourage you to do that, to do classes on a regular basis, but if your group does those and those are open to you, go ahead and put those classes on your calendar. So when you're talking to somebody, a contact, and they go, well, no, I've never been to a class, you can flip to this quickly because you've got their name right down here because you're doing a care call, and you can say, well, on Tuesday of this month, we have such and such a class here and find out if that class works for them. And you can also schedule one-on-ones or classes with them in this part of the calendar section as well. So this is a lovely all-in-one little notebook, and we will have this. Um, we're actually redoing this right now, but we do have a few of these left before our next printing goes to print. So if you want one of these, then you can email or Facebook us, and we will get you one of these. It's really um, beautiful. It says blast on the front. Okay, and we give this out in our BLAST training. So if you attend the next BLAST training, which is in February 26th and 27th, you get one of these for free with your registration, which is pretty exciting. All right, let's get back to this call. And she says, look how easy this is. Uh, here's how Young Living Diamond, Melissa Pepping, does a care call. Hi, Sally, this is... Melissa, I'm part of your Young Living Upline support. How's everything going? Um, I'm actually just calling to check in with you tonight. From time to time, I like to put down the keyboard and pick up the phone and just chat. Can I ask, what has been your favorite oil to use so far and how are you using it? These are things that are question openers that get people to open up rather than just asking them, do you like your oils? Yes. Where do you go from there, right? So these are things that get them opening up and talking to you. Oh, my favorite oil is Thieves. I use it on my kids all the time. I give it to them all the time, put it in their apple cider or whatever. And you just kind of let the conversation go from that point and just be friendly and be interested in what's happening in their life. You might ask, what oil do you have that's really baffling you? Like you have the oil, but you're not quite sure how to use it. You might ask, I know when you came into Young Living, you probably had some health goals. Can I ask? How are you doing in reaching them? Is there anything I can do to help or maybe research with you? I'd like to try to work with what you already have to find a good solution. Now, we don't do quite as much of, you know, helping people find health answers anymore because of FDA issues, but there are some things that we can help them with as far as what oils support what body systems if they're dietary oils. And just let the conversation go. Find out what they want to achieve. Take some notes so the next time you call, you can follow up on their answers, which is why, because I lose papers all of the time, I like to have this notebook so that I can keep all of those notes in one place. Um, it is a no-fail. They will start asking me about different products, Melissa says, and from this point, arrange a protocol for the next three months. Obviously, your job is to help them arrange the best orders, break it down into three smaller orders so they can get on rewards and be getting points back for that, um, rather than one large order and point out the benefits of getting 10% back in ER points. So this is something that if you're uncomfortable with it, you can practice in the mirror. I really encourage people to have a mirror sitting on their desk when they're making calls because you can see whether or not you're smiling. And did you know people can hear whether you're smiling on the phone or not? So having a mirror right there is really important. Um, if you are not sure if you can smile while you're on the phone. And then you can practice it with a team or a family member um, to make the process more comfortable for you. Remember, when we do a, things a little bit out of our comfort zone, it stretches us. And if we do them until we love them, we are growing and ready to step up a little more. So that is Melissa Pepping's Care Call Script. It will be on our team Facebook page, but if, you, if you're if you not part of our team and you, you want to access this, then we're happy to 
send this to you too, and you could probably Google on the internet for it and find it as well. Now there are a couple other things that I like to ask when I'm on a care call. <coughs> Excuse me, so I thought I would just share a few of those with you. One of the things that I have, like to ask people when I'm on the phone with them, if they have time, not everybody has time right now to get in a conversation, but one of the things I like to ask is, what do you do for a living? This gives me an idea of all kinds of things. It may give me an idea of their passions. Maybe they're a massage therapist and I can make sure that they know about Raindrop. Um, this last care call I did, um, the family owned a construction company and they we were able to have this great conversation about being a business owner and how hard that is and how much less money you actually really do make than people think you make when you're a business owner and how a lot of times, boy, that business just owns you instead of you owning the business. She was talking about how busy her schedule was because she was working all of the time with this construction company and, of course, her, her larger family. So I found out all kinds of things just by saying, well, what do you do? And, well, what does your husband do? and just being interested in her and her family. And I really am, I'm not faking it. It is really genuine. I want to know the people on my team. I want to help them grow and fill whatever need they might have in their life. Um, I love to ask how many children they have. I love to ask if they have any pets. Why do I like to ask how many children, how many pets? Because then we can find out what their children's favorite oils are and maybe there's something else we can relate about. I have children, they have children, we can talk about their ages. These are just things and ways to make easy like conversation. And t talking about their pets, we can ask them, if have you ever tried any oils on your pets? Because that's a whole nother avenue of using essential oils is with your pets. And maybe some extra questions will come up from them because of that question. So I have to tell you this, I made a care call on Friday and I got in touch with this amazingly communicative, lovely lady and her name was Kathy Cowden. And so Kathy and I got to chatting. I was really enjoying our conversation. Um, but before I got to talk to her, I talked to her husband. So you might be making care calls and let's say you don't get anybody. Do you leave a message is the question. Um, sometimes is my answer. I don't always leave a message. Most of the time, I will blow through that number and I'll go on until I reach somebody. Occasionally, if I've already tried to reach them two or three times, then yes, I will leave them a message just so they know that I care about them and they've got my contact information. This particular time that I called on Friday, I got Karen's husband and he said, well, well um, or Kathy's husband, and he said, well, Kathy's not here. She's in the store shopping. I'm sitting out in the truck. And I said, okay, well, maybe you can help me. I said, is Kathy liking her oils? So here's what I do. When I'm calling them, I have them up on my screen. So I can see all their statistics. And I knew that Kathy did not have, had not ordered since January. So that's always concerning to me. Oh my gosh, did somebody get their kit and then they don't know how to use their oils? Because if people are using oils, they're usually excited about them and they're usually reordering. So he said, oh my gosh, she loves her oils. She just, she loves them. And I said, so she tried to rub some on you? And he's like, yeah, I just let her do whatever she wants to do. And I said, does she have a favorite oil, do you know? And he said, oh my gosh, she loves frankincense. That is her favorite oil. Well, because we're in the month of November right now, and when, while we're doing this video, the promotion for our company just happens to be, oh my gosh, frankincense, right? So I said, oh my gosh, there's a special this month where you can get two free frankincenses. Um, you know, so maybe I can talk to her about that. I said, is there anything else you think that she might need? And he said, well, her diffuser cord got eaten by a squirrel. I'm like, what? Her diffuser cord? What is she diffusing outside, leaving it out there overnight? So I just kind of left that and I go, oh, okay, well, maybe we can help her with that too. Just have her give me a call back. So she did. She gave me a call back and I said, okay, I got to ask. What is the deal with the diffuser cord eaten by a squirrel? So I found out that this lady, amazing lady, has a pet squirrel in her house. How fun! I totally told her, I am taking my kids up to see you sometime. We are going to see this pet squirrel in your house <laughs> because um, that is just pretty cool. So I found out all kinds of things just because I was willing to stay on the line and, and help her with various questions. All right, so. Some other questions that I like to ask, 
is have you ever been to a class? Believe it or not, there are some people in your group that just signed up on a one-on-one -on -one and maybe they've never been to a class. They've never seen anybody else explain essential oils. So it just so happens that we have a video on YouTube called Discover Essential Oils. And I will ask them, have you ever been to a class? Some of them say yes, or some of them say it's been a long time. And I say, hey, would, would you like me to send you a class by video? Is that something that would interest you? Most of the time they say, yeah, that would be great. I would love to watch a class by video. Especially if they're somewhere farther away than my particular town, this makes it very easy. Sometimes I will ask them, oh, do you have a class schedule? If they are in my town, then I usually know what classes are going on in my town and I can get them a schedule of those classes so that they can attend the next time they have availability. And then the last question I ask about classes is, have you ever thought about hosting one in your home for your friends so that they can learn more too? And many times they'll go, you know, I kind of thought about it, but I'm not sure I'm ready yet. And so we'll have this whole dialogue about when you are, we'll get with your upline, and, and we'll follow up with that, right? So because I asked them about classes, and because I asked them if they have been to a class and if they'd like a video class, now I can ask them about Facebook. Why would I ask them about Facebook? Because that's my favorite way to communicate. I can answer four or five messages at a time while I'm typing stuff to my group in the Facebook group or while I'm checking the Diamond group or something like that. So I'll ask them, are you on Facebook? A majority of the time, people are on Facebook. And I'll say, great, you know what? If, let me friend you here real quick, and then what I can do is I can send that video to you via Facebook message. Do you know how to pick up your messages? Well, yeah, I do. Okay, great. So I'll find them with their help. I'll say, is your, are you, da 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 da? Yep, that's me. Okay, I friended you, so just as soon as you accept my friend request, I'll get you that video. I have not ever had anybody not accept that friend request, so that's a good thing, right? And then I have to follow up, and I have to grab my list, and after they have friended me, I have to be sure to do all of the things that I told them that I would do for them. This is very important, and this is part of whether or not they will think you are walking with integrity. Oh, that lady called me, but you know what? She just wanted to get me to buy more product. She told me she was going to send me X, Y, Z, and she never did it. So we don't want to be that person. We want to be the person that has integrity and does what we say we're going to do. All right. So I asked them if they'd like me. We, we connect on Facebook. Sometimes if they're not on Facebook, I will ask them, if it, is it okay if I send that to you via email? And many times they do have an email and will want it that way if they're not on Facebook. But if they are... This is the other question that I asked them. I said, well, we've got this group called Abundance with the Young Living, and it's really, more, it's really more of a group for people who want to share oils than it is for just asking product questions, which we can't always answer. Some of them we can, but we can't. Would you like me to add you to that group? Almost always, they say, yeah, that would be great. Now, here's the step forward that I do after I add them. I say... I've just added you to the abundance group. It's going to be on the left-hand side of your page. You'll see it pop up there. Do you know how to turn off your notifications? Now, why would I do that? Because our group is very active. We have, I don't know how many comments and posts on it a day. And that can be overwhelming for someone if it's hitting their inbox every time somebody posts. There's a new message in their inbox and in their email. So I want to make sure that we are not an irritation to them and that we're not just like junk mail coming in being, oh my gosh, another Young Living Facebook, delete, 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 delete. So I'd rather them just check when they're in there. And then if their upline says, oh my gosh, did you see that thing on the Abundance page or on whatever your group's Facebook page is, um, then they're already in there and they can, already, they can just go in and check when they have time to go in and check. Okay. So the fifth thing that I like to ask is, oh my gosh, have you seen this month's promo? Because for, for Young Living, for our company, we have some amazing promotions that they do every month. If you've hit 190 PV or 250 PV or 300 PV, they give you free stuff. Now, they did not do this when I first started with Young Living, 
But since they have done this, it's really helped people explore new products and get excited about, you know, what can I transfer over to Young Living because now I'm going to get these promos if I buy toothpaste and, and uh, shampoo and some other things from them. I'm going to get these other free things back. This time of year, the other thing I like to ask them is, have you seen the Christmas catalog? Believe it or not, many people, especially if they're not ordering, don't even know that we have a Christmas catalog. And there are some very cool products in there. So I'll ask them, did you know there was a Christmas catalog? Would you like me to send you a virtual copy of that so you can scroll with it? Because I know we're all looking for unique Christmas items about this time of year. We start our our little holiday shopping and usually they'll say yes I would love a copy of the Christmas catalog so you're doing them all kinds of services during the phone calls if you can ask them the right questions and then the last question I like to ask is by the way did you know you could get your oils paid for each month and some people have no idea that if they refer people to Young Living and they keep a 50 PV order that they get thank you checks back and sometimes it's a hundred PV order so that's very exciting for some people um, there was one family I talked with that she had all kinds of ideas about what she um, you know once she realized that oh my gosh this is a really viable business then her brain just started rolling and it was so exciting to see somebody start to get excited who already loves oils but I never would have known that unless I had taken the time to dig into my group and do those care calls. So what I do is, if you go into your downline viewer, you notice it'll be on this side if you're watching the video, I guess. It'll be on the um, left-hand side where you can see all the little plus marks, right? So you see the plus, 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 plus under the names of your members. And I just went down one whole leg all the way to the bottom. And my care call started at the very bottom of this leg. Because what can I do now? Now, when I call the person at the very bottom and I call their sponsor, I can say, hey, I just talked with Kathy. We had a great conversation. Oh my gosh, did you know I'm going to send her this and this and this, and she's really excited about this. And now Sally, who sponsored Kathy, is really excited. And then after I talk to Kathy, whatever our conversation is, I can talk to her and Roller and say, oh my goodness, do you know I just talked to Sally and Kathy, and I had great conversations with them and this is some of their needs, and then Sally wants to do a class. Can you follow up with that? And now the person three levels up in that line is very excited. Do you see how this goes? And then I can call the person above them and say, oh my gosh, she's gonna help Sally do these classes. This leg is gonna really grow. Very excited about it. And we create momentum from the bottom up. And this is much like what Skyla is talking about with the Star Factory, so if you haven't heard that, um, you can get uh, with your upline if they're in our group. If they're not, we will have this down, hopefully, somehow, so that we can share this, but teaching people how to become stars. If they want to know how to get their oils paid for, the easiest way is to shoot for the stars, right? Shoot for star. Once we get them to star, many times they have their oils paid for already for their monthly order if they choose to do a monthly order. Some cautions. Number one, don't ever push people, right? None of us like to be pushed. None of us like to be sold on something, but we all love to buy. So just be offering information and solutions, but not pushing them to do a class or pushing them to do an order. We just really want to take care of our members. And I have to tell you this, I, was, I used to order a ton of diffusers from Diffuser World. And one day I had just placed an order for two cases of diffusers. And I got a phone call about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes later. And the Diffuser World guy said, Hey, uh, I see that you've been with Young, I've, the Diffuser World for a while now. And I just wanted to tell you we appreciate your business. Is there anything I, extra I can do for you? Oh, I have never had that happen. In my, all of my years of spending lots of money with various different companies, I have never had somebody just call me back and say, we really appreciate your business. Is there anything we can do for you? I was flabbergasted and excited. I'm like, I just got a care call. Wow, this is exciting. So believe it or not, your people may be just that excited to get a care call from you. 
So be sure to introduce yourself at the beginning. And if you're not their enroller, then be sure to let them know how you're connected to them. You're in my group and you're under so-and-so and I'm just doing care calls in this particular group. And here's one other thing that you can do at the end. So you can also edify for those people between you. If you're calling three, four, five, seven, ten, twelve, whatever levels in your group, however big you are, you may only be three and that's okay. So if you're calling three levels in your group, be sure to edify these two people in between and say, you know, I'm sure you're getting taken care of greatly by these two people, so I'm, I'm just adding my voice in there as somebody that is here to help you. So you edify them. Oh, have you met Sherry? Sherry is the sweetest lady on the planet. Oh my gosh, you haven't met her yet? You're going to be so excited when you get a chance to meet her. So now we've also created this family atmosphere. If they're a part of something that's more than just their enroller and them, now it's this whole big group of people that's here to support them. So that's another, uh, could be another goal of yours during the time that you do care calls. All right, so I wanted to show you this, which I did, and we went over these things. Oh, by the way, the squirrel's name is Bernice. I wrote it down. Yes, so sometimes I don't always write it down right away on my notes, and I just grab whatever notepad I have, but then I always come back to this book and write it down. So let me tell you how many things that I am going to do for this lady that I called that's like seven levels in my group. Um, I asked her if she wanted to be added to the abundance page. She said yes. Um, I, you don't have to do this, but I told her because I have some extra diffusers, I'm going to send her a diffuser. And I'm going to give her the email. And I will email too, and we'll see if we can get an, her an extra cord for that diffuser. <clears throat> um... I am going to send her a photo of the promo with frankincense. I'm going to send her a four-year career in a Jim Rohn book um, because we discussed a few things about that. Um, I'm going to send her the link to the Christmas catalog, and I'm going to send her some video classes. And then I'm also going to send her some videos of Adam Green because she has a young daughter who she said might be interested in doing this kind of part-time. And so because she's young, and I know Adam's such a great representation of that younger generation. So I'm going to send her some Adam's videos that are on our YouTube channel as well. So if you're not familiar with all the tools that we have to use, our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, our, um, our tools that we use like books and CDs, then get with your enroller or your enroller's roller and say, show me all the tools. Show me everything I've got to, to work with. And then you go through those tools, not just because you need it, which you do, uh, but because you want to be able to support your group the best that you possibly can, and you can't do that if you don't know what you've got to support them with, right? I tell you what, your upline has provided you with so many things, and it is so much easier to go from zero to 100 miles an hour with Young Living Now than it was in the very beginning for us when we didn't have anything. We didn't have any to very many tools. Um, we had a wonderful newsletter by Deborah Rayburn, which fed my soul. But other than that, there was not a whole lot of tools. So get with your upline. Find those tools. If you don't have a blast notebook, just start a, some kind of spiral notebook that you can record these kinds of things on it for your care calls and keep that with you so that wherever you are, you can do care calls. Did you know? Oh, I'm on my phone. I was looking around for my phone. Huh? Um, did you know the phone app, Oily Tools, you can make phone calls right off of your phone. So if you get into Oily Tools and you click downline, 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 downline of your group, you can just click call and whoever it is, you can call right from your phone. And if you keep this with you in your little business bag, then you can always be recording so you don't forget what it is that you're going to do for them and what it is that you're going to send them when you get back home. Using your time in the car, if your state's, state allows calling and um, driving at the same time. Or um, maybe you're sitting at the gas station waiting for somebody to work it on your car. Or maybe you're at dance class or the soccer game or something else and you have a little bit of time. You can make those care calls. So what's the big deal about care calls? They are very, very important. And your people will be so glad that you did them. So this has been Sundays with Sonia. 
We love you. Thanks for tuning in, and we will talk to you another Sunday.